Mr. Srinivas, do you think it's ironic given that uh, Revanth Reddy now talks about backstabbing? He's warning the BRS about all the netas that they have imported, especially given the fact that you look at the number of Congress netas that have come from the BRS over the past few weeks. If anyone should be concerned about imported netas, it should be Revanth Reddy more than anyone else in Telangana. Uh, hi, Ashish. Thank you very much for this interesting debate. I was actually smiling because I, I saw the entire clip and uh, uh, the fight is going on like this. If I put it in Hindi. Now, what is happening is uh, in the entire debate, Sabita Idharati ji uh, had talked about certain things which uh, Sri Revant Reddy ji didn't like it. And he said that, boss, you put something in the public domain which we, was between both of us. Now he got a little agitated and there, and he used certain words like, see, there are certain metaphors in Telugu, which uh, when translated something else into English or Hindi, it creates a, a different meaning. So, for example, he, he talked about Akkas. Akkas means two elder sisters, those sitting behind you. And he said, the second word which he used, which I loved a lot, was Jubilee bus stand. Now, the Jubilee bus stand is something which a metaphor can only be used when you're outside the decorum of the assembly or the parliament. You're talking to your own friends. You should not be putting such words into this assembly where all the members are honorable members. So, by according to me, this should have been awarded by the honorable CM. Now, what happened is the honorable CM gave a full toss. Uh, and the uh, BRS got it and they had an issue down. They are not doing it. And they, now they have a full-blown uh, issue in their hands uh, thanks to Congress. And they insulted the woman, blah, blah, blah. And this is going to blow out on social media, media and everywhere now. We are going to enjoy the fun, nothing else. Okay. All right. Mr. Rohit Rao, now this is now the BJP saying that this is all drama that is being done by the Congress and the BRS. Both both parties now don't really have too many issues to talk about. So, do you think this is all a non-issue that is being kicked up? And also, do you agree on the fact that CM Revanth Reddy should not have used these kind of words, especially for female leaders on the floor of the House? There are some jokes that you keep for outside the Assembly. It does not really look good in the Assembly. That's what the BJP says. Look, I, I, I kind of uh, would like to uh, answer this in a couple of parts. Uh, once, I would like to respond to our senior journalist on the panel, Mr. Grover. The debate about party leaders switching across to different parties, and it's it's a nationwide debate that has to happen. I am all for it to happen on a national scale and maybe tightening the legislation so that this doesn't happen to any party. I'm actually of the personal opinion that that should happen. Now, the debate today is not about whether Congress or for that matter, any other party is attracting these uh, so-called dissident leaders or not. The debate here is, right, right you said, TRS is trying to make a non-issue um, an issue from a non-issue. And okay, the BJP spokesperson can have his view. But what I'm trying to say is there was no abusive language or there was no objectionable language. There was no unparliamentary language used in that. The word Jubilee bus stand, this, it's it's actually, okay, what is Jubilee bus stand? It's one of the major bus stands in Hyderabad, the other one being Imli bus stand. So it's not, it's not a it's not a tongue-in-cheek comment. It's it's actually a fact what that what Mr. Uh, Raven Sridiji was saying was. Please be careful with these sorts of leaders that you are trusting so much. We have trusted them in the past and our fingers got burned. So he he rightfully warned his uh, opposition leader. So I don't see anything wrong in that sort of a language. I'm totally, I'm totally against any sort of non-parliamentary okay. language being used in assembly. But there was no such instance. You know, I would uh, love you to play that clip. I know it's in Telugu, but I'm sure there'll be people here who can translate it for us. There's no controversy there. Okay, let's let's ask let's, Mr. Inayat Ali, Inayat Ali to ex actually point yeah. out what exactly he finds derogatory in this. Inayat Ali Jit, now Rohit Rao clearly says that there is nothing derogatory. It's just a joke Achha. that the BRS cannot take because the BRS ne is short on numbers. You are insecure. Tell Mr. Rohit Rao what exactly is the problem. You know the entire Ra sentence. Ra Ra One second. You know the entire sentence. Tell us what exactly is derogatory and what exactly is the BRS so upset about. See, what is the meaning of uh, 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 Jubilee bus stand? What is the meaning of Jubilee bus stand? What, what he used the, this word for when a woman? She is uh, she's like a bus? Or she is like uh, no, no, a bus stand? Uh, is a bus stand. Uh, like, <laughs> bus stand is a bus stand. Mean, yeah, what, what is the meaning of What is the meaning? You can clear me. You are going to say what you are going to say. You are going to say that you are going to run away from the people. पकड़े जाने वाले आदमी ये बताइए कि तेलंगाना की असेंबली के अंदर 
एक सीएम को ऐसे वर्ड्स यूज करना शोभा देता है क्या पहले अब यू क्या आर यू एग्रीड विद दिस वर्ड रोहित राव इज क्लियरली आस्किंग यू वॉट्स द प्रॉब्लम विद द वर्ड बस स्टैंड जुबली बस स्टैंड वॉट्स द प्रॉब्लम ही सेंग इन जस्ट अ जोक दट इज बींग नथिंग डबल मीनिंग इन दिस no he is not a jogi he is already uh, she is torching uh, torch or uh, torching one lady ke agar iske sath rahoge to tum logon ko ye bhag leke aake bhag jayegi ye bhagane wali ek lady hai jo chale jati hai us levels ka kehna tha unka ke telugu ke jo words hai aap jante nahi ki unka translation intyahi galat tha tabhi ja kar to hamare mla wo ladies uthke thair gaye और अदरवाइज अगर आप एक असेंबली लैंग्वेज में बोलते हैं तो किसी को भी ऑब्जेक्शन नहीं था एक सीएम को अपने काम को पीछे छुपाने के okay. लिए बात को छुपाने okay. के लिए श्रीनिवास अपने ओके 